bring in Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. Bill. Sir, welcome back. Here, any sign of a resolution on this? Uh, not immediately, but it will be resolved, Bill. Look, they can't hold out forever. They have families back home. They have jobs back home. And pretty soon their wives or husbands uh, will start saying, hey, it's time to get back, uh, back home. And when they get home, if we're in a special session, uh, they'll be arrested and brought to the Capitol, and we will pass these bills. You just heard in the report the Senate, and I'm the president of the Senate, and I'm one of the people that helped write this election bill. I know it backwards and forwards. Uh, we just keep doing our work. And while they've been gone, for example, Bill, we passed a bill to, to give retired teachers a 13th check. That will die because they're not here. To put more money in child protective services, that will die because they were not here. We passed a quarter of a trillion dollar property tax cut yesterday. That will die because they're not here. So there's a lot more going on than, than just this bill. But Bill, let me they, they said that you know there's power in certain things and and they're being called courageous i call them the liars club they're the liars club because everything they're telling you from the vice president down to the lowest uh level house member who's on this trip maybe a freshman whomever it may be they're just lying to the american public and the power is in the truth so i encourage all america to do one simple thing just go to texas legislature online texas legislature online read the bill for yourself in the middle column it says search legislation you just click 87-1, that's the 87th session, first a special session. So just click 87-1 and then put in the Senate bill number, Senate bill one, and read it. So Texas legislature online, um, under search location, put 87-1 in the category, and then SB1, read the bill for yourself. Here's what you'll find, Bill and Martha and America. Uh, you'll find that we've extended the early voting hours in this bill, that today on election day you can actually you're required to be given time off work to vote. We've extended that for the entire early voting period. Uh, we've added over 60 more counties that have to add more voting hours. We've added more voting hours on Sunday. Uh, we've done nothing to suppress the vote in all of this. They talk about 24-hour voting bill and, and, and drive-through voting. That's not in the law. It's never been in the law. One county out of 254 did that last year on their own. And we're saying you can't do that. One county can't go ahead and write their own rules. And why not have... Drive-in voting, it's very simple, Bill and Martha. When you go in to vote, you go in by yourself. You don't take your family and friends. But if you can drive and vote, you can take a lot of people with you, and they can all decide who you're all voting for in the car. It's just nonsense. The same thing with 24-hour voting. People who work 4 to midnight can vote before they go to work, or if they work midnight to 8, they can vote when they get off. This is all a big lie, a big lie, nothing more than that. So I invite people to read the bill for themselves, and they'll see that the truth will prevail because we're telling the truth as Republicans. Okay. You know, it's interesting, um, Lieutenant Governor, that you know you talk about the, that it's a big lie, right? And it seems yeah, to me that the lie. messaging on this has been uh, from the Democrat side that all of this is because of what they call the big lie, um, that all of these these battles over voting came from the 2020 election and the outcome that they say was disputed, um, you know, for, for the wrong reasons. But I think so much of this came from COVID, right? came from the changes that got put in place. And I wonder if the oh, messaging yeah. has been has been off on your side of the fence in not articulating that clearly enough for Americans that, you know, these were exceptions to the rules that were made, like the, like you talk about the 24-hour voting in one district in Texas. So so this has been right. a really sharp message of bat battling of messages. And you hear the vice president um, talking about the Edmund Pettus Bridge. And you hear the president talking in his speech the other day about, you know, about civil rights and the, you know, greatest uh, threat to voting in the country. Um, this is a messaging battle. Well, it is. And Martha, I believe we're winning the message now because Fox is giving us great opportunity. We're doing more television, more radio, more print interviews than ever. And every time we uh, lay out the facts, the facts are on our side. The truth will prevail. And you're absolutely, absolutely correct, Martha, that this was uh, Houston, Harris County, that extended 24-hour voting and drive-in voting against the law. It's not in the election code. It's never been in the code on their own. And we can't have one county decide on their own rules. And I've explained why we don't need 24-hour voting. Hard to get volunteers, hard to get workers. Very few people vote during that time. Shift workers can vote any time. We've extended, again, the hours for early voting and giving people off to vote every day during early voting. Uh, uh, so we've done nothing but extend the voting. And this has nothing to do with the Trump election whatsoever. Uh, we're just trying to write a really good bill that 
makes it easier to vote. And 95%, uh, Bill and Martha, 95% of Texans in the Texas Association of Business Poll have said it's easy to vote in Texas. I, I was in the Senate. I was one of the authors of the voter ID bill. We heard all this back then. We've increased voting in gubernatorial elections by 76% from 2014 to 2018. We've increased voting in Texas more than any other state in the union. And again, our early voting that we have, as I said the other day, Bill, with you uh, on the morning, um, uh, we have more early voting than six or seven or eight yeah. Democrat states, and some have none. So Ma Massachusetts, New York, yes, Delaware, Massachusetts. Yeah. Uh, sir, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Listen, I, I know your position is just a question yeah. of time, and we'll wait for that time to yeah. come, whether it's August 7th we'll or wait. beyond. Uh, Dan Patrick, thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.